r slash ask men. Genderbender 344 says. As men, what's been your experience with cat calling? Just curious egg. Conch Whistle says. I've been cat called a few times while jogging. Not gonna lie, it made my day every time lol. Adalep Bidorn says. Haha. Same, in the summer most evenings I go out running, and often take my shirt off. Having a car full of women honking or calling out something is a pretty regular thing I always kinda try, to not to laugh. Because it's something, that women seem to do, just as much as men. Normal Appearance 982 says. I've had the same. Have also been cat called by clearly straight men in a joking way as well. Pristine Dirt 729 says. I've had several cats over the years, and generally they'll come when I call for them. Not always, since they are cats after all. Intrepid Concern 2978 says. Happened to me a few times on the strip and at the bar by cougars and gay dudes. I'm not complaining. Diablo 165 says. I never do it. I've had it done to me. I enjoy the attention, but it's always soured a bit by the knowledge that, if I behave that way toward them, they'd be frightened and or offended. Blyan Judas says. Same here. It's weird how us men love that shit and women get tired of it. It says a lot about how different we are, and why. Diablo165 says. Well, there's no real or implied threat to my safety when they cat call me. I'm positive I could have fended any of them off. Even when I was outnumbered. Women don't have that privilege. I get it. I suppose that's what bums me out. They can't just enjoy the attention and not worry like I can. Kinda frick, s up the moment for me. Smoke underscore eat underscore every day says. Once when I was running roughly a half marathon a fat middle aged woman asked me if it was cold out because my flaccid penis was evidently not very impressive while she was at a red light. Supergamethonary says. No, it's not cold out. I'm just looking at you. Practical dude 1995 says. What a fat conch. Rangerman 612 says. Non-existent. Eden 96 says. The only time I was cat called was rather disturbing actually because it was by a group of women that looked to be in their 30s and. I was 14 at the time. Upon him Austichola says. I assume you mean women cat calling me. If I'm right, then it's largely been positive. I usually smile and wave at them. It's a nice little ego boost for me. But one time, I guess I was horny or something. Because I stopped what I was doing, approached her, we flirted, traded phone numbers, hooked up and basically had a nice little fling. It was a pretty positive experience it. Hey it's Enrica Palazzo says. My friends used to drive by and cat call me while I was at work. I loved it. Diversity Fire 84 says. I noticed that they are more responsive to clicking sounds than PSBSBS. Someday. One of them will let me pet them. Felix Goldenrod says. Once had a car full of girls drive past going woo at me as I was waiting to cross a light. Going off my appearance at the time, it cold been mocking. Garbage underscore water says. About 20 years ago I was shirtless walking on the side of the road. Some girls drove by and went oh. TL Grey Hot Sauce says. I was cat called once by two women in a bus while I was walking on the street. I was 16 I think, and they were grown women, so it was somewhat gross. To college age women also grabbed my, but when I was 10 years old in the line for Space Mountain, I think they were drunk. That legitimately terrified me, I thought I was going to be molested. Matt 4704 says. I work construction. Guys will notice and talk about women, but actual cat calling I've really only heard on the street in poorer neighborhoods. 
Janoon Aliklalesku I says. Never really been catcalled, but a girl smacked my But when I was getting off the bus freshman year in high school. 15 years later, it still crosses my mind occasionally. Really liked her, but it never came to anything, unfortunately. Kangaroo Conch, Slayer says. I wish women would cat call me. Kingman123 says. MMM, I'm pretty good at it. Mrakaka says. I've been cat called once. Made me feel like a handsome man. Kagranek says. PS 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 Carfreak 777 says. It's never happened. I look like potato. Question underscore few says. Honestly it's pretty uncomfortable. I can see why women also find it distasteful. Remember fellas, no one that you actually find attractive is out cat calling people. There's no need for them to do so. Sanger underscore Frio says. By whom? Women? Doesn't happen. By Dutcher bag guys trying to mock my masculinity? Yeah, it happens. Frick those, bizaches. R slash ask men. Kodge Sink says. How did you overcome malaise? I 40 male, recently hit a wall. It's hard to describe exactly how I feel, boredom, hopelessness, exasperation, ennui. I don't feel like doing much of anything, and I'm having a hard time caring about it. I do exercise, and eat fairly well. If you felt this way, how do you get over the hump? Obert1965 says. Vitamin D, get your thyroid checked, blood pressure. Prostate check, depression check. Iron underscore obelisk says. As a 38 male, I think what you are experiencing is your midlife crisis. I kind of feel the same way as you, but my trigger was losing my wife, widowed. I've looked up how to best enjoy your crisis. Not much help to be honest. But here are things to try. 1. Be more social. Talk to strangers. Maybe make a few new friends. Reconnect with old friends. Take a gym class instead of working out solo. 2. Try not saying no. Don't think, just do. Someone asks you to do something crazy, within reason, just go along with it. Think improv. 3. Do everything you can to stay out of your house. Put the phone down. Disconnect. Camping, nature, retreat. I am Eclipse says. I keep my thinking ground level. I'm 23, and it is insanely easy to spiral into the whole oh god the world is terrible, and living is expensive, and I'm never going to make it, grand scale thinking. Once you start thinking too big, life seems pointless and meaningless. So I go one day at a time. Just a little bit of progress here at work, a little bit of progress over there with my projects, and slowly but surely, I get to where I want to be with my life without too many setbacks. Newtoban Chof Stuff says. I'm 40 and have overcome ennui by not knowing the definition of the word. Ignorance truly is happy me. Pengi9290 says. I've found that I do a lot better when I find something to work on. Something far too big to complete quickly, if at all, but with progress that's easy enough to make, that I can clearly see how much I've accomplished each day. Haven't. Quite found one yet for this summer yet, though. Best underscore of underscore Slanesh says. I turn into a ball and kill an entire army of Scotsmen. The Movement 77 says. That sounds more like depression than malaise. Talk to your GP, and see what they think. Herbert Willyworth says. Could this be hormonal? Maybe get a blood test? Elzeth911 says. I just started using the frantic sword. Master Guarantee 204 says. 
do stuff anyway, whether I feel like it or not. Seems to only take hold if I sit still for long enough. If I get on with it, it goes away. Scrufter says. Frick. You exercising and eating well sent me into a mini crisis, because that's what everyone tells me when I feel the exact same way. So I'm sorry Opus. I got nothing. Therapy, and then hold on for dear life, when you have one of those days where all your thoughts are negative. test says. I was like this from 23 to 29. Just gotta risk it, and try new things. Even if it's something you never do. Try a pottery class, you could meet a girl, or guy. Read books. Hit the random button on Netflix. Eventually you'll find something that rekindles an old passion or sparks a new one. Thiel Nomat account says. Literally tried to kill myself. The malaise curdled into self-hate, and it won. Igusthesis says. The sort of general malaise that only the genius possess, and the insane lament. Storm underscore John says. Adrenal fatigue. Cosmic Lofer says. Midlife crisis motorcycle time. Charlie Boy 561 says. At first I got a second job. Then I quit that job and started driving Uber slash Lyft part time. Having something new to focus on helps. I still feel the same way from time to time. I'm turning 40 in October. Necessary at 5174 says. Ground level thinking is key. Unless you're an astronaut, then aim for the stars. Affectionate underscore aid underscore 19 says. Have you considered TRT? Prenancer Owlet says. I live pretty far north. I make sure I tan in the winter, take vitamin D and fish oil, get my steps in, and read motivating stuff like as a man thinketh, acres of diamonds, and how to win friends and influence people. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.